Form validation can feel pretty easy when you use GitHub Copilot, but if you don't pay attention, then Copilot decides for you where your rules live. Now, in this video, I will show you how this can go wrong and how to fix it. You see, I have this little form here with email, password, and confirm password. We can hit register and we see email is required, password is required, and so on. Now, when I enter something here, it says it's an invalid format. So test at example.com should work now. Now the password is not correct. Okay, we need more characters. So let's add these and then also this thing here and now everything is great but let's have a look at the code now what you can see here is the register page and actually it's not that bad right it is using static server-side rendering so no blazor interactive server render mode here and we use standard stuff the validation summary component here validation messages but then down here, for instance, we see the register model is inside our code block. Maybe we don't want that, but actually maybe we also want to use something different for validation. Now let's just prompt Copilot to refactor this code and then see the result. Real quick, if you want to go really deep into using AI and Copilot for real .NET web development, I just released a new masterclass. The link as always in the video description below and make sure to use the code YouTube for a sweet discount. So what I would do now is we can either enter the solution and let's just say refactor the complete thing. In my case, this would work because there's not much into it, or we just say, please refactor the code of the current active document. Either way, we will see an interesting result, I guess. So let's just try that. Please refactor the code of my register page, and then we can give Copilot some rules so it knows how to actually refactor the code. So let's say these are the rules. And then we say, do not change the app behavior. Well, the app is not that big. It's just the form, but still, this is a nice little hint. Use that if you have big applications. Then what I want to do is I want to move the validation logic out of the Razor component. So move the validation logic out of Razor. This should already do the trick. We can also say keep the UI dump, right? So we can really use that kind of language here. Very important for me, use dependency injection. And we could also say something like use XML summary comments if we, you know, use services, for instance, and maybe a general use best practices. All right, let's see what the result will be. I refactored the register page to follow best practices by separating concerns, moving validation logic out of the Razor component and implementing dependency injection. All right, let's see. All right, as you can see, a lot has happened here. We have a register model now right? Not in the code block of our Razor file. It is now separated. We have an iRegister service. So we have an interface with XML summary comments, which are off. And then also the register user async methods. All right. So we should do something here, but this is just a demo. And then of course the registration in the program CS and the register Razor now gets a bit smaller because we have no register model in here. So this is fine for me. And if you now have a look at the output of Copilot, we also see the changes, right? Separated model, created a service layer, dependency injection, and refracted the register razor in general. Now the benefits are app behavior unchanged, validation logic separated in models folder, UI component, service layer, ready for dependency injection testing, XML documentation follows solid principles, built successful with no errors. This is great. Now, of course, the big change is this thing here, right? And also, of course, the register service, which has actually not that much to do with the actual validation. But we can even do more here. If you, for instance, want to use fluent validation, you can prompt Copilot to do that as well. But the big trick here now is 
you don't want to use this refactor prompt every single time you want to refactor something or you have an application you want to build with the help of Copilot. So there is one big change that I can recommend and that would be an instruction file, right? With that instruction file, Copilot knows upfront what you actually want to do here. For instance, using dependency injection, using a service layer and so on. And if you want to see exactly how to do that, just check out this video here on the screen.